Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy Smokestay here, back at you with another video, and today we are on MXC Stee's facility, and this track, I have not ridden it yet, I've just seen a little bit of a preview of it, but it is by Carlo96, and he says he recommends the 250, so for the first time in like ever, I think, we're gonna do first reactions to a track that I've never played before. So far, looking good. Um, the quality, like the visual quality is like on point, bro. Like this thing looks phenomenal. Now in the post that he posted, he did say he recommends a 250. So we are on the Honda 250. So far of this track, man, um, is definitely, it just looks so good bro it really does like the visuals on this track are absolutely fire bro it's insane i think you could still get away with a 450 i really do he did say that he uh you know 250 but i think you could ride a 450 on here if you're good on a four oh my god if you're good on a 450 i'm pretty sure you could get around here but overall man the visuals are phenomenal and so far the track flows very well um in the post he also said that he made the track to flow with friends and just ride around and race and have fun that way oh hey that corner is fire bro what is this is this the start okay how many gates are on here huh so it's not a full 40 gates is there two different start lines nope just the one hmm see now that i do wish it had more starting gates i really do maybe there's some hidden behind it i can't see but i do wish i had more starting gates especially for a track like this i love that corner bro i absolutely love that corner he had so uh carlo 96 also created the mxc training facility which came out oh i want to say a couple months ago but it had um a lot of crossing over sections so the timing gates didn't exactly work you know 100 percent um but the track was fire you know what i'm saying so right when i saw this track i was like i knew it was going to be good and um i i looked at the um the post for it and i was like oh yeah so because i woke up at two o'clock this morning and i couldn't get back to sleep so i got up got on the game for a little bit and um was just spinning some laps you know before i left for work but i checked the shop right before i left for work it was like probably 4 30 this morning or something and i seen this track was just uploaded so i was like you know what we're gonna run a giveaway on it so we got a giveaway live by the time you see this video though the giveaway will be ended um i did a very short giveaway it was just a one day for 10 copies of this track and um so that giveaway is not live anymore but join the discord you know if you want some future giveaways be sure to hop up in that discord man for show for show <laughs> but uh man so I woke up and I seen it and I was like, yeah, man, that track looks fire. I watched the preview video for it and instantly I was like, oh man, this is going to be so good. But I didn't get to play it until right now. So these are my first impressions. Um, but yeah, overall, man, visuals are absolutely stunning. Um, difficulty level, very easy. Not a difficult track at all. So very fun flowy fast track that's easy um so if you if you're a beginner to the game you're looking for a very good quality track to play that's not difficult at all this is definitely a good one for you man definitely a good one for you and i'll tell you what these model swaps bro um oh my god what are we doing here what are we doing these model swaps are nice uh so when he first reached out to me um I, I was hesitant, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was hesitant because it wasn't the OEM team, but I am very glad that I uh, that I told him yes because he did a very good job on these. So Dash Pack is the one that did these model swaps, and man, I'm really enjoying these model swaps a lot. I really am. Like he did 
a very good job. Like I said, tomorrow will be the video on these uh, model swaps. I'm going to go over each bike, rank them from which one I like the most to which one I like the least, and go give a more in-depth look at them. Um, but first thing I noticed on them is the handguards are definitely different than the regular OEM ones. And they are going to be free. That's the best part. They're going to be free on MXB mods. The only downside, better yet, you know what? We're going to save that for the next video. So we're going to save that for the video on them. But I like the way the jumps are built. So the jumps are built. They're going to pop you up. You're going to get some good air. Um, it's called the Steez. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be able to get sideways on it. You're going to be able to throw those fat whips that you like to throw. And I think that's partially why it's very fast and easy. It's just some very steep big jumps for you to get sideways on and what it reminds me of is kind of like a mixture of like just a free ride area with the track on it but it's just the track you know what i'm saying so you have a lot of just jumps to get crazy on and and it's awesome i am gonna try it on the 450 though because i feel like he said it's recommended for the 250 but I feel like you could ride a 450 around here with no problems at all. But yeah, it's, it, this is a super fun track, man. And actually, I haven't even like got to go the full speed. We haven't even let it wide open yet, so... We're gonna have to do that, man. We're gonna have to try to rail these. Put down a good lap here. But the texturing even, man. Look at the... The quality of like the ruts and... Just everything that's in here, man. It just looks so good. The skybox is phenomenal as well, man. I really enjoy this track. I do. This he's he's two for two on tracks, bro. He's two for two on tracks. Cause you know what, the MXC training facility, I wanted so badly to race that track so much more than I was able to. Um, I feel like it didn't get ridden or raced as much as it should have, purely based on the fact that. The timing gates were messed up you know what i'm saying but the timing gates on this work and it has some very nice jumps the same way that that track had and now it's not as creative you're not jumping back and forth over each other or doing anything like that but you are able to get sideways you are able to go fast you are able to clear these massive jumps on here um and this is going to be a very fun track to race so yeah man just 10 out of 10 overall bro go get this if you haven't and congratulations to all of the 10 winners on the giveaway i don't know who you are yet because i'm recording this after i get off of work on uh on wednesday night so <laughs> congratulations though it does end at 4 30 in the morning so like i said earlier it's already over but carlo 96 bro you are killing it with these tracks man you've definitely got me looking forward to what you're gonna release next already because between this and the mxc training facility bro um just some very amazing tracks now he does have a reshade that he suggests you use with this track i did not download the reshade because i did not notice it but the reshade for it is available on the page where you download the track at so if you want to try that out it might look good on other tracks as well um i know he does a lot of stuff to do with the visuals of everything so go check that out man other than that hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time man Peace.